Well, here we are in the House of Lords, no less, with Jason Yule. Uh, well-known footballer, played for just about everybody over a long, long period of time in the Premiership. But Jason, I must admit, I've seen you at Wimbledon, I've seen you at Charlton, I've seen you at Blackpool, I've seen you at Middlesbrough, I've seen you at Southampton. <laughs> I've never seen you at the House of Lords. What are we doing here? Um, no, we're here today um, for an event for the charity that I'm a patron of called Jigsaw For You. Um, firstly, is that we're here to promote a music video which is going to be getting released, which is just um, sort of showing what Jigsaw for You do as an organisation with um, a young guy who ran away from home, got into certain troubles with peer pressure, and what um, Jigsaw for You sort of offer is trying to get people to come, young people to come back into a good environment of life and try and lead them on, onto the right path. And Secondly was to um, hand the awards out to young inspectors that go around the council, again who are associated with Jigsaw for you, have had their own sort of problems um, growing up, they go into either to local councils or into organisations and basically it's just part of the training for them to get GCCs in inspecting the work that could be done in changing the way people's environment of work is and for them to go back and re-inspect. And uh, the thirdly was for an award for a young entrepreneur who again is helping young people and coaching them to being able to open their own business in future and she got an award for that on her work that she's done in the past. So we're not here because you've become uh, a member of the House of Lords, Lord Jason of Crazy Gang? Not yet. No. Not yet? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet, that's around the corner. Now why you? I mean there's a lot of uh, well-known footballers, a lot of premiership footballers, why you? Um, I mean, I went through something with my wife now um, in 2001, where we lost a daughter through stillbirth. Um, we had a couple of organisations that we could have gone and spoke to to help us with the grief and the loss, and Jigsaw for You came up. It was a little bit different because they're mainly associated with younger children that they didn't lose brothers and sisters and, and parents. Uh, it was something that it was a bit smaller and it felt more of like a community and family base that made us feel that's where we want to be a part of and help us get through our troubles at the time and since then and what they've what they've done for us at that time we've continued as, to, to try and put as much help as we can and the awareness for putting Jigsaw out I mean it, it was very small when we was involved and not just from me being involved but it has grown over the years from a lot of the hard work and dedication that the staff have put in on a on a day-to-day -day basis. So I mean, like, like all good reasons, there's a personal reason as well for you for you to be involved. Yeah, definitely. It's very it's very close to myself and my wife and and to my family as well because as much as that they were there for us on a day-to-day -day basis, it's the same as what Jigsaw offers as well. And sometimes you might need an outside an outside ear that can help you get through the grief that you suffered. Okay, Jason, so we're now outside the House of Lords and we've just seen a music video in which you star in, primarily as a footballer, but there's a bit of acting going on as well. Yeah, just a little bit of acting. Um, first time I've actually done something like that. And it was just good to, to help be a part of that. Again, being with the kids during the day and seeing and meeting MC Harvey and the, the production team of doing the video. And it was, um, yeah, you enjoyed the day. Enjoyed the day very much. Well, we saw a little bit of keepy uppy uh, in the video, which of course reminds us, apart from you being a, uh, a patron of a, of a charity and doing such good work, um, you're also a footballer. Yes. Um, and you've been just about everywhere, haven't you, in your time? Primarily in the Premiership. And it all began at that craziest of crazy clubs, Wimbledon. Yeah, it did. Um, a long time ago now. Um, first actually signed for Wimbledon when I was 12 and some of YT forms at 16 and it was one of the experiences that I think people always say the best experience they had was in school. I always look and think my time at Wimbledon was always, I'd say, is the best experience I've had. It's pretty much a classroom anyway, wasn't it? It was, yeah, it was that. But no, it was just so enjoyable just being around the characters that were there. I think everybody knows of the stature of the club and what the crazy gang actually meant to people obviously outside of the club itself. And you look now, you've seen Vinnie Jones. Hollywood actor and John Fashion, TV presenter, 
Dean Holdsworth now wouldn't have thought he was going to be a football manager in his Robbie L, Warren Barton. It's, it's just a, a, a good mix of players that were at that club. And yeah, and you, play, you played with all of them, didn't you? And look, look where they all are now. Yeah, so again, it's something for me to, to keep an eye out for myself to try and look forward to something when I do end up finish playing. Then you had a big spell at uh, Charlton, of course. A small spell at Middlesbrough. Uh, a little bit of time at Southampton. Uh, then on to Blackpool. See, I've done yeah. my research. <laughs> you can't eat at Doncaster on, on loan, but it's uh, you're still going and you're Oh, can I say this? You're 34 now. 34. Still yeah. going strong. Very strong. I mean, I've looked. I look at it as um, over the last few years, where there's games that you haven't been involved in, even if it's been on the bench or not in your squad. I always see that that can actually be used as a, a positive further down the line. I know it's not too good, obviously, when you're not involved. Obviously, you just want to play every week. But I think sometimes if the games that you're not involved in actually can benefit you in the long term, and that's why I feel that I have been in good shape for not having the injuries that some players probably would have, probably won't get them to this stage, but I've been fortunate to to be injury free and looking to, to play as long as I can. And the other thing of course, lest we forget, nine caps for Jamaica. I wish I could play for Jamaica, that sounds <laughs> like a great place to play. No, yeah, it was, yeah, a very long time ago now, I think the last one I got was in 2006 in the England Drubbing, I think it was. Uh, so, but no, it's, um, I think it's always good when you've got a chance and opportunity to play for your country. Um, we've had a lot of change of managers since then, and you never know. So the long, I can carry on playing, but you just don't know what age you can get. You know, Who knows, eh? And uh, a Blackpool being your club, I think Blackpool's a little bit like Wimbledon in that great sense of character. They've come from almost nowhere, and uh, they've surprised everybody this year, the fact that they've given it such a good go. No, definitely. It's similar to... We were like in the championship last year. We got wrote off from before the first ball was kicked in the season, and it's been similar to this year. And it's not a case of us going out and wanting to go and prove to anyone that we can survive and how good we are. It's just that we know how good we are. We know what we're capable of. We know what we can do. And we're using all the negatives that people throw at us as an advantage to us, and just going out and playing our own game and just enjoying it. And that's where it's showing by people who have. Who have taken on board the way that we play and didn't expect us to play that way the attractive style we do and said that's what we enjoy doing it week in week out that's exactly what you were like at Wimbledon isn't it definitely was yeah. right back to the beginning again <laughs> it was yeah all right Jason well listen congratulations on on tonight's good work and all the good work you're doing with Jigsaw for you thank you and uh best of luck with a career long way to go yet you're 34 years young thank you very much all right take care thanks